Stefan. Stefan. <laughs> He's at both versions, but no, no, it's Stefan right. after all. No, I mean, well, it's because uh, my parents decided it would be a good idea to raise me in the U.S. Yeah, and then, uh, give you. my name German spelling. So nobody in the U.S. ever knows how to pronounce my name properly. <laughs> so uh, I got Stefan, Stefano, Stefan, even Stefanovich. Stefanovich. I don't know if that's... Nice. Yeah. Uh, well, that's like a, we call it here... Mm, I actually don't know how we call it. It's father's name? Yeah, probably father's name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, St Stefanovich. I was like 12, though, when I heard that, so I didn't know what it was. <clears throat> is, am, I, am I too close to the mic, or is this fine? Uh... Auto autograph the Lancet piece in auction. Uh, Andrew definitely got to do that. That's a good because, idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because he's, hmm. yeah. You can sell old Russian junk to then buy new good shit for the <laughs> Ukrainians. So like I like it. it's, it's recycling. It's a good idea. Yeah. Stefan, you know, yes. so to make it kind of a interview, can you please introduce yourself once again? <laughs> once again, okay. Well. Yes, hello everybody. My name is Stefan Bear. I am 29 years old from the great state of California. Uh, I've been living in the Netherlands for three and a half years where I work on roads, streets, and transportation systems, moving people like from A to B safely and efficiently. And uh, ever since the full-scale invasion started, I've been following the whole thing very, very closely. And as time went on, I just wanted to do more and more as my government, I felt, wasn't doing enough. So this is now my second time in Kiev, and I hope it will not be my last time. Hopefully I will. Well, hopefully we won't have to do these convoys anymore because the war will be over, but... But, I, but we doubt that, Realistically, right? we doubt that. So <laughs> I am uh, hoping that I can uh, help a lot more in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you were driving one of the trucks. Yes, I drove is it from already... Mercado handed over or it's still there? Uh, I believe it is uh, the NAFO 398, the one we were just sitting across from. Sure, we can it? go. Um, what do you think? Ah, yes, I stuff. will. Uh, and and do stuff? Yeah, yeah well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, it's, I'm sure that there's no one here who, will, who would want to steal it. <laughs> People were asking, where's Andrew? He's, he's around. He's up there. Like, yeah, he's there and next to the truck. So, thank you, Michael, for two bucks super chat. Have a safe trip, Rick and Andrew. Thank you for that. Thank you for the wish. By the way, Johnny FD is here. Hey, Johnny, Hello. how are you doing? All the, all the how's it going? Uh, pretty Rick. good. It's not a live stream, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. a live stream. They don't want people he's, sharing. He's, 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 he's allowed. He's excused. Yeah. He's really? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I was, uh, it, it's so crazy how many YouTubers I've met here because I used to watch uh, Bald and Bankrupt and Johnny and then I was just in Kiev yesterday. I was like, is that Johnny? My goodness. <laughs> so, Mercado Media, Misto Heroi Kharkiv, City Hero Kharkiv. Is it a good one? How was it, it, it to drive it? Uh, this time I definitely think the trip went a lot faster and a lot better than last time. The first time I did the trip I didn't get enough sleep ahead of time, so this time I was actually much more awake and alert and uh, we went a lot faster. Uh, going through the border was only an hour and a half this time instead of three hours. Um, it was good and uh, Andrew is, I, I, can, I can vouch Andrew is a very good driver and uh, he's quite good at navigating through <laughs> Kiev's traffic, so it was, it was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, do you know who Ruth is? Ruth. There's a name on the truck. Uh, just give me a second. I, uh, I I don't know why it was named Ruth. Andrew would probably know the answer to that. Yeah, so gotta know. Yeah, I had a I had a truck here last month that I fundraised for. That that one was called Big Bear. It's my last mm, name's Bear. Big Bear. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to join that convoy. But I decided I wanted to. But I filmed convoy. it. You probably yeah. seen it. I was Build the lanes. It. Build the lanes. So yeah. yeah, you have a YouTube channel, um, Build the Lanes, and uh, you talk about building the cities and towns infrastructure properly and more like inclusively, probably also. Yeah. So the idea is that you want you want to try to build uh, systems where you try to move as many people efficiently as possible, and a lot of times that does include cars. But uh, what often happens in many cities around the world is that that's moving people just means only moving cars. And it makes it uh, to the point where you can only use a car to get around. And then it becomes a self-defeating system because the car is one of the most inefficient ways to get around, especially in a city. So uh, you try to make it where you can drive a car, but you don't have to. Uh -huh. And then uh, it's kind of better for everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a uh, yeah, um, far off topic, but... Mm -hmm. So like 
uh, in the urbanist community, the community that's very interested in building like very uh, livable and safe cities, there's quite a, a, a movement against pickup trucks because there's this understanding that they're not very good for cities and they're not often the most efficient oh, yeah. tools <laughs> for moving things around inside the cities. But we say they're actually a great tool for war zones. So like the urbanists are like, yeah, let's let's buy a lot of pickup trucks and let's. Uh, send them off to yeah. where they belong yeah, uh, on, on the front good. line uh, let's actually buy off all the pickup trucks exactly. in the world and send them here and you guys start using the electrical cars yeah uh, all the oversized <laughs> ford f-150 send them all to ukraine because they really need them yeah, yeah. and they're huge yeah. uh, also those big trucks ram Ram, uh, uh, Ram, Dutch Tacoma, Ram. Mitsubishi, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, they've also they've gotten much larger. So if you look at like pickups from the 1980s uh -huh. or 1970s, they're like half the size of what the modern ones are. Mm -hmm. I mean, but the, but the the size of the bed is exactly the same. So. <laughs> Mm, oh, I, okay. I like that shot. How we're right in front yeah, of the yeah. That's cool. I, I, I found it just now and decided to hold my hand like this. <laughs> Money shot for the thumbnail right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect shot for the thumbnail. Okay, we're standing in the way of a truck or not? Oh, uh, yeah, the one, one of the trucks is leaving, yeah. Leaving because it was just handed over. So I'll keep the shot like this for you guys to see it. Um, departure. <laughs> yeah. Can I yeah. say so? Hello, yeah. Eric, your, uh, your English is really, really good. Thank you. Like, uh, I understand everything you say. <laughs> well, you, I think you understand everything I say. So. I do. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it's not leaving. So, getting so. back to the perfect shot for the thumbnail. Yes. <laughs> and if this was uh, in different circumstances in a peaceful time, I feel like I'd be a tourist and I'd be taking a photo with the, uh -huh. the monument. But I missed it leaving. Perfect timing. <laughs> oh, it's still got the Estonian license plate though in the back. Mm. Uh, most of them. Four, five, eight, BRN. Going oh. off to the front line. Nice. Mm. By the way, what number is this one? 398. 398. Yes. Uh, so I don't know if you guys heard it yet, but uh, we've now uh, brought 410 vehicles. 410. That's uh, from, from the 69th Sniffing Brigade. Um, uh, I, I don't even know how many drones and other pieces of equipment, but... Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, in this convoy, most of the trucks are Jake's trucks uh, from his campaign. I believe it's around half. If I, uh, Not most. Uh, I, think, I think 50, 60 percent. Yeah. I, I think what they're doing is they're splitting up. Uh, I think like 600 grand of what he raised went towards trucks, and uh, that's being split between two or three different convoys. Because otherwise, it would literally just be a Jake Brown mm -hmm. convoy. <laughs> Third trucks, something like that. A Mavic flying here, filming. Making some nice videos. Uh, it doesn't have any bombs attached, so we're wow. safe. Civilian use only here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how is actually? I'm curious. So I'm I'm gonna guess that the the rules for people flying their own drones in Kiev is there a hard rule against that or because you know it's technically a war zone? Because in Amsterdam you can't fly drones because you know they don't want it interfering with the plane yeah. traffic. How is it in? Uh, I think Kiev? Uh, I think you bet you just better keep it like. 50 meters uh, above the ground, not more than that, uh, yeah. to yeah, for it not to be detected by uh, drone detectors. Yeah, it's kind of so. just common sense kind of thing. Yeah, yeah <laughs> so you can yeah you can use them. You see, mm, 69 Sniffing Brigade is using one, and they just go uh, away with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's also so they can publish their videos. Yeah, of course, of course, of yeah. course, and it's it all helps. To promote the campaigns, which means, uh, yeah. Hmm. By yeah. the way, guys, I quickly want to remind you that we started a new NATO truck campaign. And this one is actually leaving. Yeah, we started a new NATO truck campaign, and it it actually it it's actually has right? two patches. Uh, in it, one is Bradley. Mm -hmm. The I'm yeah, continuing the collection of the American weapons that help us to get the victory. Um, it's a beautiful Bradley patch, and the second one is a pun, uh, blood type A30B, which in Ukrainian uh, spelled like Azov, the okay. Azov unit, so that's a pun. That's uh, also a bottle mosquito on it, on the patch, Ukrainian flag on the background. I want to show, oh, I can show it to you if you want. Yes, please. 
Uh, it should so be here. Give me I, I didn't I didn't bring it yet, but I also I do have the build the lanes patch I brought for you. So. Uh, you but didn't take it with you. Yeah, I was I, I was half asleep when I woke up this morning, so I Same. forgot most of my stuff. Let, oh, I like that. It's like that. <laughs> oh, and you know that that's that's a joke about the whole like combat mosquitoes thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's clever. Created by Lettercatch. He actually painted this, made a painting, uh, and we created a patch uh, from painting from her painting. That's <laughs> really. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Second one is Bradley. Oh, I like I like to make fun of Russian bullshit. It's like oh. we will make a combat mosquito patch now because you guys made it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes that. They like to make fun of Russians. Uh, speaking of promoting, I also uh, I like to whenever I, I come to Ukraine, I, I have a camo uh, jacket I like to wear with uh, all the patches, just because people often stop me, and ask me, like, hey, what uh, what is this? Uh, I like to use that as a chance to promote the the brigade, and then that's how we can uh, bring in new donators and things like that. Mm -hmm. So like when I when I leave, I'll be wearing, yeah. even though it's a winter jacket, I'll still be wearing it because free publicity. Nice, uh, and that's yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> and I think it's also just good to remind people people don't forget about what's happening here because uh, Amsterdam life is quite normal, mm -hmm. um, and so the war has been going on for almost three years now. So mm -hmm. I, I don't want them to forget about what's happening here. Yeah, thank you yeah. for that. That's that's important for us Ukrainians. Everyone who's advocating for Ukraine who reminds people. By the way, do you already have my patch? Bring the Ukrainian. I do, yeah, I do. You yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, when did I, or did you? It was. A, you you gave campaign? it to me back in February. Ah, you gave me I gave one. it to you back then. Yeah, That's I'll true. take another one <laughs> if you want. You'll take another one. I always take. I'll always take more patches. Maybe for some other fan who. Uh, oh, another fan did that. Wow. Thank you, fan. Uh, yeah. Here's one more. These are you. quality guys. You guys should all chip into Rick's fundraiser and you can get maybe one of these or one of the new ones. You, you can know? get uh, this one. This is the original. For becoming a member of my Buy Me a Coffee, by the way, too. Yes, buy him a coffee. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like this video, leave any comment under it, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also check the previous part and you can become a member on my Buy Me a Coffee to support my work here. Thank you and live long and prosper.